I'm Jade Dyer. Um, I'm from Cumberland, which is just outside Glasgow um, in Scotland. Um, I work for G4S Security in the events side of the company, um, and I have done for about 12 and a half years, in which I've been a supervisor for working at 8 to 10. Um, I've kind of worked in every venue um, up in Scotland, and primarily based at the Oval Hydro um, in Glasgow, and I do London Park and other football events and festivals and things up and down um, the country. My typical day um, on a shift would be we would turn up, um, we would attend a supervisors or security supervisors briefing. We would get you know, all the information um, on that event, whether it's you know the pass sheets, timings, you know things like that, the attendance. Um, we would then be assigned a position. Nine times out of ten, we kind of work on the same position so that we, we know that area, but we obviously move about. Um, we we'll then be assigned a, a group of staff. The numbers can vary throughout whatever whatever venue you're at and whatever position you're in. We would then brief that the, the staff on what we've already been told about the event. And then we're there basically just to ensure safety um, and enjoyment of the patrons while they're attending the event. So um, if there's any issues, we would try and resolve them. If the staff can't resolve them, we would come to myself. And, um, you know, anything that we need to know in terms of if it's an evacuation, how the guys deal with that. And then we're there just to make sure that the patrons are happy and enjoying the night. And if there's any issues, then they can always come to us. Um, we'll help them as best we can to make sure that, that if they're happy and they go be happy and enjoy the night. Um, I think and what I enjoy most about my job is I like the feeling of, of serving and helping the general public. I'm very much a, I've worked in the, the, the public for, for years, um, and it's something I really like. As much as it's very challenging um, at times, it's the fact that I can make sure that they come to an event that I'm working at and I'm there for their safety and security. And as long as they go home safe and happy. I love that's the best part of my night, and then also I love the, the camaraderie with the people that I work with. I've worked with the same people for you know a lot of years now, and um, so I like just being that knowing that the staff have always got your back um, whenever you need them. Um, that's what I probably enjoy most about my job. Um, I think the most challenging thing um, I've ever had to deal with was this year um, in March. We had an event called Tom Grennan, um, the the artist Tom Grennan was here, and we. I got called to an incident um, up on our kind of oval hydro. There's over three different levels. Um, so we've got the ground level, level two and level three. Um, and I got a call um, to go up to level three um, for a, a, just a gentleman or a young boy who was just acting kind of like, scared and distressed and, and very upset and everything like that. So I went up and I, I tried to speak to him um, and he was scared, but there was fear in his eyes. Um, um, Unfortunately, he was under the influence of whether it be some form of drug or alcohol or, or whatever it was he was under the influence of. Um, he was terrified of, of the world, basically everything, no matter what you did. He was just, he was terrified of something that we don't, we obviously I couldn't, didn't know what it was. Um, and then he ran away from me. And for whatever reason, I just had it in my head that he was, he was going to try and jump. I don't know why, it was just the way he was acting. And he just kind of went towards a level that we've got a set of stairs and he just jumped and he went head first over the front of our level two. Um, and at that point, I, by this point, I was already with him. Like I'd already went with him because I had a horrible feeling that what was coming. And I just leaned over and I and I had him dangling by my, my, all I can describe was like two hands like that by an ankle. And the rest of them was just dangling into the air um, on level two. And he had fell. I hate to think what had happened if I hadn't managed to catch him because it would have been, it would have, have been probably felt his death, unfortunately. And unfortunately, I was holding over so I could start to feel myself going over. But at, at that point, one of the girls that I was working with, Megan, she managed to help me and grab his waistband and we managed to get him back over the wall. Um, and then we, we, tried, we had to obviously restrain him and, and, and calm him down and things like that. But that's probably been the most scariest and challenging things. I've, I've, I've done a lot over over like the course of my career, but that was probably the hardest and most challenging And because we had to get the police were involved. We had to restrain the boy to a, to a stretcher and they had so much strength about him that we couldn't, at one point, we couldn't even hold him on a stretcher. He was breaking all the, the straps. And um, But I just, just thinking back on it that moment, if I hadn't, for whatever reason, my instinct just went, this poor boy is going to jump, and I just grabbed him, and I had, like I say, I had him dangling by one ankle, um, and I just think, God forbid, if I hadn't, you know, if I hadn't managed to catch him, or if I had been over with him, it could have been a heck of a lot worse than what it was. <laughs> so yeah, I think that would probably say that was my most challenging day in work if I've ever had. I think the most proudest moment would probably be like the one I spoke about before, um, with the with the saving the, the young boy's life, but just 
probably my first supervisor shift, um, my first control room shift, um, they're probably proud moments as well. Um, but definitely saving saving that person's life would probably be um, the top one, I would say for me, 100%. The one thing I wish the public knew about security operatives, probably that we're not all that bad. You're not all there to, to, to make your night difficult. We're always there for the best outcome of the patrons and the safety of the patrons attending, whether it be a concert, a football match. And yeah, we're not all that bad. We are all, most of us are nice. The training I've had, obviously, is the you do your door supervisor training and you do the first aid um, with that. And I think it kind of... It, it trains you to be able to be prepared for any kind of disaster or anything that happens, like um, if you need to administer first aid. And I think I've got first person on scene training as well that I've done um, through the, the SI and things as well. So it's really helped me to be able to know that if I enter a situation, I know exactly kind of how to help somebody, um, whether it be de-escalating the situation to stop or in any kind of, you know, they need first aid, I'm there to be able to help. And I think um, the training definitely does help. And now that it's mandatory, especially the first aid part of it as well, I think, the fact that that's mandatory is, is brilliant and it helps anyone now that will be able to come in to do in their SIA course or just want to work in, in the security industry to have that. Definitely, it, it helps a lot because it, it prepares you for, for anything that could happen.